Hello. If you're a follower of mine, you'll know that I got a polycarbonate greenhouse two or three years ago and built it. You'll know that because you've probably seen several videos about that greenhouse. Hey, can you believe it? I've only had it two or three years and I've made seven or eight videos not about what I'm growing in the greenhouse but the greenhouse itself it's been a nightmare it's been an absolute nightmare the build was a nightmare maintaining it's a nightmare trying to keep it in one piece has been a nightmare but hey we battle on we won't be beaten We've tried a few things, some have worked, some haven't. Greenhouse is still standing, I'm still standing. If I'd been a polycarbonate greenhouse manufacturer and I was making a video and I wanted you to purchase one of my greenhouses, that video would be nothing like any of the videos I've made. It would not. Well, why would I tell you it's difficult to build? Why would I do that if I'm trying to sell you a greenhouse? No, I'm going to make a video that shows you just how easy it is to build. Yeah, we're going to have a professional do it. We're going to have someone that's probably built these polycarbonate greenhouses for a living. That's who's going to build it. And off camera, well, there's his mate, with all the pieces indexed and laid out nicely for him, so that when he walks out a shot, comes back with the right piece. Doesn't have to look for it. It's there, you won't see that. That won't be in the video. Any mistakes made, they won't be in the video. The video will be edited, so it'll look as though this greenhouse is built seamlessly. You watch that video, you'll say, I could do that. I mean, it's only a five minute, ten minute video. He's unboxed a greenhouse and built it. We could do that. Ha <laughs> ha We could do it. Watch, watch some of my videos. What I'm going to do is, at the end of this video, uh, I'm going to give you a link to a playlist. And that playlist has about seven or eight videos in it, all to do with polycarbonate greenhouses. My polycarbonate greenhouse. Well, I mean, it turns up in a box. It's a box of bits. Some of the members, remember this, this greenhouse of mine is a six by eight greenhouse. None of the boxes that arrived were over six foot long. So where are the eight foot pieces? Two along the bottom of the walls, two along the top of the walls and the ridge. Where are those five eight foot pieces? Ho ho ho! They were in those boxes. Yeah, they were in those boxes. Boxes were no longer than six foot. Man, I couldn't believe it. I was banjaxed. When I started looking at the bits and pieces, and part way through um, this series of videos, I nearly managed to get myself arrested. Oh man, what a carry on! Now you may ask. Well, why didn't you video the build? Video the build? It would
would have been a feature length film. It just about took me from dawn till dusk. I had enough on my plate trying to build the thing, never mind film the thing. I had time for videos. In fact, I nearly ran out of daylight to finish the job. It took me that long. Don't forget when you're watching a promotional video for these greenhouses, it's being condensed down. You know, you're looking at a, a five minute video, it's probably taken hours to build that greenhouse. It's probably taken several hours for that greenhouse to be built, even by a professional. So how long is it going to take you? How long did it take me? I nearly lost the light. I nearly lost the will to live. No, I didn't. That's an over-exaggeration. I didn't. No, once I got stuck into it, um, and I realised how flimsy this thing was, there was no way I could stop. There was no way I could stop. I just had to keep going and going and going. Wow, nightmare. I'm not a greenhouse manufacturer. I'm not a professional builder. I'm just a gardener who's built his first polycarbonate greenhouse. And what a nightmare that turned into. Now what you don't realise is that <laughs> it's not a five minute job. Not like a five minute video you've watched of a professional building one. It's going to take you all day. When I started building this greenhouse it was calm. I don't mean my mood was calm, although it was. The day was calm. And then the breeze got up. Which turned into a bit of a wind. And then it started to rain. And the hours ticked by. And progress was slow. And things were bolted on that had to be unbolted and taken off because they were bolted in the wrong place. And with one of these greenhouses, as each time you put a new member in, it tends to captivate the member that it's bolted to. And so when you realise you've made this mistake, there might be several members need to be removed to remove the one that's in the wrong place and then there's nuts and bolts missing and if you over tighten these aluminium nuts and bolts you'll finish up snapping them trying to get them out and then you start to think am I running short of nuts and bolts here? Rain comes on a bit heavier you look at your fingers it's though you've just got out of the bath they're all wrinkly there's been that much rain, you know, soak and wet. Um, it's still blowing and you're starting to lose the light. And you're starting to lose your rag. And you're going to make mistakes and you do make mistakes. But there's no stopping. Because one of these greenhouses is at its weakest when it's only half built. It's at its strongest. Uh, and I use that expression strongest it's at its strongest when it's fully built so you can't just pack in when it's half built you have to keep going and it took me nearly from dawn till dusk to get that greenhouse built <laughs> and, that, and that was only the start of it that was only the beginning of my troubles I can laugh now, but I can assure you, I wasn't laughing at the time, uh, and I'm fairly sure I had two or three sleepless nights because we got a range of storms coming across shortly after I got that greenhouse built. Um, and in the playlist, you actually find um, a video that's entitled in something like inside a polycarbonate greenhouse in a storm. Hey, scary stuff. Scary stuff.
Now the latest video I've just put up um, over the last couple of days, it's to do with the deterioration of some of the polycarbonate sheets. I'm going to show you now a polycarbonate sheet that clearly instructs you to install the sheet this side up. Okay. There's the polycarbonate sheet. It's two foot by four foot. Yeah, it is. No, I've got um, I've got big hands. It's and that's a big cup. It's two foot by four foot. That's a polycarbonate sheet. And I think you can just see the remains of the instructions on this uh, this offcut. Install this side up. Easy. Easy peasy, isn't it? Slide it in, this side up. That means that this side is external to the greenhouse because this side has got UV protection. This side has UV protection. This side doesn't have UV protection. So the sun it's not going to damage this side, but hey, <laughs> get it in the wrong way around. You'll see whether the sun will damage it or not. Right, I want to show you something. So, when you're building your greenhouse, it's important this side goes to the outside. Make this the last job, taking this film off, so that when the greenhouse is completely built, this film is still on all your panels. Check it out, make sure this film is still on all your panels, then take it off. When you're happy that your greenhouse is built, and you're not going to have to disassemble it, which quite often happens, you can get things wrong. When you're happy that your greenhouse is built, to your satisfaction, take this off. You can't get these in the wrong way around. Now then, let me just take it off and show you something. So this is the film coming off now. Okay. Hey, <laughs> you can't tell the difference. You just cannot tell which of these sides is UV protected. It's impossible. It's impossible. So if you have to do, take any of these sheets out for whatever reason, and you've taken this off, you best mark the outside of the sheet. And if you lost a sheet uh, during stormy conditions, if this blows down the garden, well, you have a 50-50 chance that you'll put it in the right way or the wrong way. Okay. Okay, so just a short video. I'm going to put you a link for seven or eight videos now that covers this um, building of a polycarbonate greenhouse in a bit more depth. There'll be a, a video about what it's like to be in a greenhouse in a storm. There's a video of me nearly getting arrested. Uh, there's a video of strengthening bars being added. Hey, that's a great idea. No strengthening bars. Got them for next to nothing. I'll tell you in the video what they are and where I got them. Um, yeah, there's all kinds of stuff in there. Um, assume that you're going to lose some of these guys and fix them in so you won't lose them. Fix them in so you won't lose them. Make sure you get them the right way around.
Okay, so if you do, um, I hope you've enjoyed this short video, and if you do watch some of the other videos, um, you'll, there, there will be some repetition in there, there's got to be. Uh, it's just problems after problems after problems, and what is interesting is that if you want to give the um, manufacturer both barrels, I mean, if, you are, if you're at the end of your tether, and you want to give the manufacturer both barrels, when you go onto their website, it tells you that no comments are accepted. Hey, <laughs> well that tells you everything you need to know, doesn't it? I mean, if they stand by their greenhouse, they'll want you to comment, they'll want you to tell other people how easy it was to build, what a great value for money product it is. The last thing they'll want is somebody like me getting on there and telling the truth. Yep, that's the last thing they'll want. So disable um, comments. And that tells you what you really need to know about that manufacturer. Okay, this is Homegrown Veg, signing out.